It was canceled last year, but it's back. Taste of Omaha kicked off its 24th year at 5 today. Anchor Courtney Johns is there now checking out all the vendors. She joins us live with what we can expect this year. And Courtney, how much food have you eaten already? You know what, my, Maya, I have been so disciplined. I do have a full menu to show you later on, but I've been on my best behavior so far. It's going to be hard during commercial breaks. And I don't know if you guys saw earlier, but we had to move really fast because it's so hopping. There was so much loud music going on. Um, it's just amazing to see the turnout here. Um, as you mentioned, it's their 24th year holding this. And when they started, they just had 15 vendors now, as you can see, we have a lot more people. It's more than 40 vendors. So joining us now is event director Joe, uh, Mike Mancuso. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you. Uh, Omaha loves their food. They really do. Yes. What got you involved in this? You know, I've seen this in other cities, and I just thought it was perfect for Omaha because we've got great restaurants, some of the best in the country. This is the place they can show their menu, have everybody try it. So this is the opportunity, and it just made sense, and it, it was a hit from the beginning. Yeah, it's incredible how much success you guys have had. What do you think has contributed to that? I think it's just great music. Like you're hearing here, we've got great musicians in Omaha. Couple that with some national entertainment each evening. And then the restaurants we have. We have so many ethnic diversity in our community too. It just shows with all of our food that we have here tonight to try African, if you haven't tried Polynesian, Cajun is very popular this year. So there's all kinds of fun flavors. And obviously last year you weren't able to have that. What was that like the last year just waiting for this to happen? I know it was difficult. Most of our restaurants were really, you know, put off by it and our musicians that love playing. Uh, for the crowd because it gets the, the summer started and so we missed that and then you know summer never did really go in last year so it was just disappointing that's why I hope we're having a good turnout today and through the weekend. As we mentioned earlier it kicked off at five we got here a little early and we already saw people lining up for this how's the turnout so far? I'm, I'm impressed and they're finding it you know it's our new location here at Elmwood Park and we've got a lot of free parking and thanks to UNO and the neighbors and everybody working together on this plan. We've been working hard to put this together and I hope everybody enjoys. All right, and we got to talk about what everyone's talking about and that is the food. There's so many different options here. What is something that people should check out? What are some of the funky things that people might want to yeah, see? some old traditions, you know, uh -huh. like the Omaha Reuben was started here. Lithuanian Bakery is going to be showing that and, and getting people a taste of the Reuben. You've got uh, B&G Tasty, which was an old time 1904 type 41 restaurant. They're doing their special sandwich here. Uh, so those are some. And then you've got Angus Burgers, you know, what's the difference there? Uh, you've got tacos of all kinds. You've got Cajun tacos and you've got Gator tacos. So if you have Gator tried, tacos. Yeah. Okay. Have you tried those yet? I have. Yeah. What, what do you what do gator tacos taste like? Well, yeah, taste like chicken. But it was very good. Very oh, good. Okay, that sounds interesting. You know, we've covered so many restaurants over the last year or so. I mean, it's just amazing how many options there are in Omaha. Why do you think people in Omaha are so obsessed with food? <laughs> I, I think it's the Midwest and that we're raised with, you know, such abundance of the, the food coming into here, but they appreciate it and uh, we like to eat out and uh, this is a chance to support our restaurants here and go out to eat. Uh, this is a good chance to check, check their menus. Mike Van Cuso, thank you so much for joining us. Again, we want to remind you this is going on this weekend. It's not at its original location downtown this year. It's at Elmwood Park. That's over by 67th and Pacific. And the hours are listed right there on your screen. And as we mentioned, last year this didn't get to happen. So a lot of people are just so excited to see this come back. And I'm really excited, you guys, because Chris, you missed out on this last year. So this is your first year to check this out. And I'm super excited too. And, I, and I'm really happy the weather's going to work out for it too. Yeah, and Chris, if you need a tour guide to take you to all the places, just let me know. Yeah, I tell you what, you guys make me a list and I'll try to make all the rounds, but it does look really nice. There is a lot of sunshine out there this evening. 